So I'm in Thundera Station, uh, August 30th. The plan this morning is to shove some gondolas north to Big Moose. The caboose will be protecting the shove move. And Conductor Bill Maul was working on paperwork for the move this morning. And we'll probably see Bill from the caboose as they're going through a rock cut south of the station by about a mile. I can't buy a ticket to Tupper, Tupper Lake yet, can I, Bill? No, I don't know how to run the ticket machine yet. So we'll, uh, we'll be sure to buy a ticket from you soon then. Sounds good. And here we see one of Adirondack's finest crews getting on the 1845. Conductor Mall and Engineer North. Well, it's a little past 9 a.m. I am at the Big Moose Rock Cut, about one mile south of the station. I hear 1845 in the distance. And again, the caboose should be up front with Conductor Mall. Ervi Told is anxiously awaiting the shove move as well. He's been here several times with me. He's a good dog. He's a curly coated retriever who's seven years old. He'll turn eight in November. Conductor William J. Mall is keeping a sharp lookout for any obstructions. We're now at the southerly end of the rock cut on the other side. Vitol and I decided to wait for the return of the engine. We'll video that and head out. As you can see he's thrilled to be waiting for the light engine move returning to Vendera. And our Tartaglia Rail tamper is making its way north now. The 1845 is holding in Big Moose for this tamper to get up there before they head south back to Thundera. Vitol was mildly interested in the passing of the Tartaglia tamper. And here comes the 1845 heading back to Thundera where they'll pick up eight hoppers of ballast.
I'm just over a mile north of the Rock Cup. This is the former Big Moose New York passenger depot of the New York Central Railroad. It's now a restaurant. The elevation here is just over 2,000 feet. A little bit beyond the station, the summit of this line is reached at 2,040 feet, I believe, above sea level. Expect the train containing the eight ballast cars with 1845 in front be passing by shortly. Each hopper car contains 100 tons of ballast. And the dog is impressed, as he should be. So here I am at the summit of the line, 2,040 feet above sea level, about a half mile north of the Big Moose New York Station. This was the highest point on the New York Central for any of its mainline routes. The view now is of course south, the Big Moose Station in the background. The caboose and the gondolas that were shoved north were put in the runaround track to the left. As mentioned before in some of my prior videos, a major work project is underway this year on the 85 mile corridor between Remsen Snow Junction and Tupper Lake. Thousands of new ties are being installed and thousands of tons of uh, ballast also are being placed along the tracks. This is a long shove move for our eagle-eyed conductor. Big Moose is 11 miles from Thandera. These ballast cars are going to go a few more miles north of here at which point they'll begin unloading the stone. Engineer is John Norton. And the engine right now is right at the summit of the line, 2,040 feet above the sea level. And they're over the summit now. The crew came on duty this morning at 7 o'clock in Thundera.
Thanks for watching and ride the Adirondack Railroad.